Good boy. Good boy. Mwah. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Hey guys, it's Soda here, and welcome back to another video. Yes, you pretty boy. You not gonna do the intro for us today? You too nervous to do it today? Today I'm talking about unsafe bird products and why you should not have them in your bird cage. I also want to start off by saying this is not a sand perch. A lot of people in the comments seem to be thinking that it is. It's actually bit tape if you look closely. You can see that it is a perch covered in bit tape because it originally was a sand perch. Kind of see the sand over here but it's wrapped in bit tape now. The sand perches are one of the things that's unsafe for bird cages it can hurt the little feet. So if you do have any, you can cover it in bit tape like I have, and then it's safer for them. So there's a lot of things that pet stores sell that are actually really unsafe to have in bird cages. And I feel like it's not really talked about enough, and a lot of people don't seem to realize that some of these super common toys are actually really unsafe for birds. And I also have some experiences that I want to talk about from other people owning these toys. I want to start with mirror toys because I feel like mirror toys are one of those toys that's not talked about enough um, and in my opinion it's one of the like toys that you should never have but there's like so many of them every time I walk into the pet store and I go into the bird toy area it's like half mirror toys. I have a bird who is actually currently talking to his reflection as you can see he is talking to his reflection in the lock part of the cage because he has an obsession with mirrors because his previous owners, he's a rescue cockatiel, um, they had a mirror in his cage so now he is just obsessed with his reflection. He's definitely a lot better now, he doesn't spend too much time looking at it but he still sometimes will go down there and just talk to himself for a little bit. He's definitely a lot better since he has actual cockatiel friends too, it helps. The problem with mirrors is that birds don't understand that they're looking at a reflection of themselves. They just think they're looking at another bird. They become really obsessed with the mirror and talking to the mirror. They will spend all their time just looking at it and talking to it because they think it's another bird. They sometimes will become aggressive towards you because they want to protect the mirror. They can also become frustrated because uh, they become hormonal, like seeing a reflection of another bird, um, but they can't actually like do anything with it obviously so they become aggressive and it's just not it's not good it's just it's pretty mean it's pretty sad really and because tofu had a mirror in his cage for a couple of years of his life he still has a thing with reflections you can see the birds because they're sitting there <laughs> oh, it looks so cute out there. Um, so yeah, he has a thing with reflections and even things like the locks in the cage, he sees a reflection in it and like kind of like talk to it and stuff. But obviously it's not too bad anymore. Um, he gets over it. I would like to cover the locks somehow, but it's kind of hard to do that because I don't want to use like paint obviously because paint can be toxic to birds. Um, and I don't know what else to use like that won't mess up with locking the cage. So. I don't know, if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know, because I also can't use, um, like, steel bowls in my cage either, because he obsesses over it. I tried to use a stainless steel water dish in there, and he obsessed over it, so I had to take it out. So if you have any suggestions for that, feel free to let me know, because I would like to use stainless steel bowls in my cage, but I can't. And that's the problem with having mirrors, because my other birds, they don't care about their reflection, because they never grew up with a mirror in their cage. Yeah, so if you have a mirror in your cage, Please take it out, destroy it, and burn it. <laughs> no, not really. You can cover up the mirror with something, like some cardboard or something, but they can rip that out if they want to, so you're better off just not using any mirror toy at all. See, so yeah, I really hate that it's become a norm to have a mirror in your cage, and there's so many toys with mirrors in them. I don't really, I don't get it. Why is that a thing? It's just sad to me, and it's sad for a bird to have a mirror instead of a real friend. I've had comments um, before that say like, I know mirrors are bad, but my bird really loves his mirror, so I don't want to take it out, but like, just take it out. Better take it out sooner rather than later, because you don't want your bird to become even more attached to it, because they shouldn't be attached to it. Okay, so another thing is cotton rope toys, especially frilly cotton rope, um, stringy, you know, stuff like the pictures I'm showing here. These are very, very dangerous for birds, and they are sold as toys in a lot of pet stores. I always see them every time I go to a pet store. And they can be extremely dangerous for a couple of reasons. Sometimes a bird can get stuck in the frilly bits of a rope 
and they can like literally like strangle themselves but they can get like their legs stuck in there and they can just panic and just pass away because no one's there to help them and that's actually quite common for that to happen with these toys which is just really sad because not a lot of people know that they're dangerous and I didn't know that I used to have rope toys in my cage until I found out they were dangerous and I had someone message me actually who told me about how their cockatiel they had a cotton rope toy in the cockatiel's cage and the cockatiel chewed it and ingested the rope and actually passed away from that so that's another big risk is that your cockatiel can eat the rope and pass away so you shouldn't use any cotton rope things that have frilly bits sometimes you can use like the tight rope ones this one here it has most of it's covered with bit tape but it still has some over here that the birds don't even don't, they don't even go there really so I'll probably end up covering the rest of it it just fell off um, but these ones can be okay sometimes but still I you should keep an eye on it make sure they're not chewing it and if they start chewing it and it starts to look a bit raggedy just take it out it's really up to you if you choose to like take the risk and put it in there anyway but keep an eye on it or you're better off just probably removing it like there is safe types of rope you can get as well like hemp ropes or cecil ropes i believe it's called those are safe for birds so you're better off for using something made out of those i don't think i've really seen much stuff made out of that stuff here maybe it's just not as common in new zealand or i'm just not looking in the right places those toys definitely are a lot better option than using cotton rope um but especially don't just don't use anything that has cotton frilly bits on it another big thing is happy huts or just anything made out of fabric like this so happy huts like you see them in a pet store and you think hey that's cute my bird can like sleep in it and you know it's like, nice and warm for them but um please don't get one please take it out of the cage if you do have one happy huts can be very dangerous for birds um for again a couple of reasons they can ingest the fabric that the happy huts made out of which can cause impaction and they could die from that um, but also like a happy hut or anything shaped kind of like a happy hut can make your bird hormonal i knew someone who had a budgie and they had one of those happy huts in the cage and the budgie was like obsessed with it and he would do things with with the happy hut which you should not encourage at all because it just will make them frustrated it can make them aggressive towards you and it's just not necessary so don't get a happy heart, please. <laughs> yeah, just anything that has fabric in it, just don't use it. You should also be careful of types of metals because a lot of types of metals can be very toxic to birds and they can get metal poisoning. So just make sure if you're getting a new bird toy that you know what kind of metal the clamp is like made out of because a lot of bird toys will have these little like locks on them. Make sure it's like stainless steel or nickel plated uh, metal and also be careful buying uh, homemade bird toys because I have seen a lot of people in like bird groups um, sell homemade bird toys but not specify what it's actually made out of which kind of concerns me so be careful doing that as well obviously there's some really good places that make homemade bird toys but like if it's just kind of someone who doesn't have uh, much of like a rep online then probably be careful about that I've also seen people make toys out of like random beads and colored um, popsicle sticks that they just got from like the two dollar shop which you also should be careful about because you don't know you don't know what those are made out of and bird toys they will use vegetable dyes which is safe for birds but you don't know what just like a two dollar shop popsicle stick dye is is made out of so also popsicle sticks can also be dangerous for big birds hey that one okay because when they chew it they can make it really sharp and could potentially hurt themselves with it so so if you do have any bird toys with popsicle sticks in it just keep an eye on them um but if they're a bigger bird then probably just don't use popsicle sticks also Dow perches I feel like is a more common thing people know about but yeah a lot of bird cages will come with Dow perches already you can have like one or two Dow perches like lower in your cage as long as you've got a lot more natural perches that are like higher like where they sleep or just don't have any I don't have used any Dow perches I used to have like one or two in my cage but now I don't use any because natural perches are just a lot better for their feet um, if you're only using smooth dowels in their cage they can really easily get bumblefoot and just other foot problems and it's just nice for them to have some different size natural perches in there different angles and different heights yeah so that's all I've got for this video I'm sure there's other things that are dangerous for birds just make sure whenever you're looking at something that you're unsure about for your bird do some googling as well just to make sure that it is safe and if you want to add anything that I might have missed in this video feel free to comment it down below 
it. This is just some stuff that I've learned while researching for my little birdies. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I could help you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!